Hello, hello, my lovely. Welcome to today's video. I am going to do a very big eyeshadow palette declutter, a bit of a spring cleaning. Um, this is a video I filmed at the beginning of 2023 because I did a project in 2022 where I used all of my eyeshadow palettes at least once. And maybe it was just one shade. Maybe it was the full palette for three days in a row because I loved it so much. Anything could have happened <laughs> basically in 2022. And um, I did a few videos. So I will leave the videos that I did down below. I made, I think, a little of a playlist. And if I didn't, then I will. I will leave it down below. So if you want to see what I thought of those eyeshadow palettes when I used them, then please uh, check those videos out. I'm also going to do a collection what do you call it, like an inventory type of a video. I'm working on that right now. So if you want to see that, if you want to see how many palettes are still in my collection, then um, yeah, well, subscribe. Then you can see the video when it comes live. And for now, let's just jump into a lot of eyeshadow palettes. Grab a drink, grab a snack, because it's a, it's a long one. It's, uh, I'm sorry, it's long. Have fun. I think I'm gonna start off with no Nomad Cosmetics. I have five Nomad Cosmetics um, little palettes and I think they're all really cute. This is the Japan one. It's the uh, uh, Tokyo, I think. I think it's just a Tokyo palette, isn't it? It's so cute. You can Because if you have these grays, you can make such cute pastel looks. So I'm going to keep that one. Then I have the Cartagena palette. I like this one, but I don't love it. and when i was using it i was like yeah well no, i don't know so i'm i'm going to put this to the side this is really nice but i think i have better especially when i look at my uh, single shadows i will have colors like these and this is not a palette i will pull and then think yeah i'm so inspired by it i'm not really so i'm going to put this in the maybe pile and mm, did we know there was a maybe pile no but i just decided there is a maybe pile this i'm going to keep this one gosh when i look at it it's so stunning isn't it it's really beautiful it has these beautiful blues and greens but is it something i really need to keep is it something i get really inspired by because all of these mats are not truly mats and i I really love a matte, but there's a lot of like shimmery, satiny mattes in here. And yeah, I like it more if it's a matte heavy palette, but there are some colors in here like this one and this one, especially those and the red, but it's a shimmery red. Oh, but look at that. Oh yeah, look at that. No, it's staying. This is one of my newest ones from Nomad. Let me put this here. This is one of my newest and I really don't want to get rid of it. But as you can see, the glass is broken. That's a bit of a bummer, but I really love this color. So the blues are so cool. These two green shades make such a stunning look just on their own. Uh, this palette is so much fun. I'm going to definitely keep this one. And then I have the Berlin Underground palette, which I think is really nice and grungy and it's really stunning. But as you can see, I will pull it up a little bit. There are a lot of satins in here. It's it's not really, those are not really mattes. And when I worked with these two, it, just, it, it doesn't look that good. So I'm going to get rid of this one. Some stuff I know I'm going to declutter because these are just two i will save for my niece when she comes over she loves to do her makeup as you can see she has been playing with these she loves them i love this packaging look at this oh this packaging is so cute this is by lunar skies cosmetics it doesn't really exist anymore this brand so i'm, I, I'm not gonna keep it but my niece loves these and she doesn't get an allergic reaction or anything. So I'm just going to keep them here for her to play with. Or I'm going to take them to uh, my brother's house so she can play with them. But these are going to be technically decluttered from my collection. I just, I'm just i just starting with the indie brands, guys, because it's easiest. Then I'm going to declutter all of these. I know, it's, it's a lot. But this is 50-50 makeup. This is a Dutch brand based in Rotterdam. But they decided to... Uh, decided to close down and the thing is I never reach for these I didn't reach for them before I never reach for them now 
I liked playing with them, but I wasn't really extremely inspired as you look at this. It's, it's a beautiful palette, but these are not shades I don't have already. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get rid of this one. This is the fall. This is, I think, spring. Yeah, this is spring. Look at this. It's so cute, but I never reach for it. Seriously, never. This is winter. Oh my god. Look at this. She made such great palettes. It's such a shame they shut down, but I'm not gonna keep on or holding on to. This is summer. I'm not gonna hold on to palettes by brand that is no longer, that doesn't exist anymore. This is Aphrodite. This is such a stunning palette. It has two pressed glitters and I know people hate pressed glitters, but I really enjoyed these. The formula is really nice. And as you can see, I've used them a lot. And then this shade, Seduction, it's so beautiful. I don't know if I have something like this in my stash. Maybe I'm going to depop this one. I have to, I have to decide. This is the Oh, let me show you this one first. This is the Desert Palette. This is the old Desert Palette. And this shade, Morocco. Oh my god. It is so stunning. It's also a red, as you can see. I'm going to show you. Oh, but it's like the deep... Almost like bricky red. It is so beautiful. But maybe I'm going to depop this one. Because I have to see what I have in my... Like singles collection, but I think I'm gonna just do that. But oh my god, I yeah. And this is the new desert palette, and as you can see, it's like the Berlin palette, it's really grungy, it has a lot more mattes, it is really beautiful, but it's just mattes and just shimmers, like regular shimmers. And I'm someone I like mattes a lot more than I like um, shimmers. It's I can do a full matte look. I don't do a full shimmer look, but not a lot of people do that. But I think I have these colors in my singles and in the palettes I am going to keep. I know I will have these shades. And this is not a palette I will open up and get inspired by immediately. And there's nothing in here, like not a single, or well, maybe this one. The Havara. Oh my god. Oh, look at these two together though. <laughs> this is stunning, right? This is so beautiful. Okay. No, I'm not keeping them. I'm not keeping it because I know I will have a shade like Havara already in my collection. So I'm not keeping it. Boy, dude. Dude, dude, dude. It's such a shame. And then I have the Sapphire palette. That is this one. And I haven't been reaching for this since forever. And I like playing with these two. The Cherry Blossom and Sunset and also Thello. Really nice shade. And of course you have this beautiful, like very vibrant rose petal and this one it's called Celosia, 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 I don't know. And then you have a lot of pressed glitters that are really fun. <sighs> but as I said, I'm not reaching for this and these are shades, I'm not gonna say that these are in my collection necessarily, but I, I don't use them that much either. So I might depop them, but the rest is going. It's so, oh, this one also. Okay, yeah, who will have such strange watches. Look at that vibrant color. It's so stunning. But yeah, I can't keep it all, you know, guys. I can't keep it all. I don't want to keep it all. Yeah. So this is going as well. So these are... Oh, my God. Uh, seven, eight. I'm already really sad. I just started. These are two palettes by Midas Cosmetics. This is the High Times palette. Very fun. Also, you have this beautiful greens in here. These are greens I don't think I have in my collection, but it's also really like, do I need them though? And I have this one as well. It's like the Tangy. It looks a lot like this one, the Havara. Ooh, you can't see me, the Havara shade. It is really beautiful, but this brand doesn't exist anymore. And I really think that I will have these shades. And if I don't and I miss them, I can buy them somewhere else as a single. And I know that sounds a little bit wasteful, but I didn't really love this formula either. So this is going to go. And the same with the Flower Bomb palette. I bought this uh, mainly because um, it looks so cute. But as you can see, this one and the Sephora, I'm going to put them side by side. They're so similar. But this one is a lot darker than this one. It's also because of the, the, the black packaging. But these are such stunning shades. But I think I have them 
in another in the lost in los angeles uh, lost in los angeles palette so i think i'm gonna get rid of this because but the only thing i really think is so fun are these pressed glitters so i might depot the pressed glitters from these and just make a pressed glitter palette because i like to play with glitters once in a while but i don't want to keep the whole palette so i might depot them I, it could be a cute video as well to depot these but these two ah these two are going as well all right then some other indie brand palettes this is the Hasina 2 palette by Blush Tribe. Blush Tribe is a, is a brand that no longer exists. It also has these green shades in here, like the grass green and that very Kermity green. Very stunning. But this is also a palette when I open it up and I look at it, I'm like lost. I, I buy these palettes or I used to buy these palettes because I think I like, or I used to think I love colorful shades and I do but I love them together with some neutrals just to ground the look and then play up uh, the look with some colors that is my preferred style so I don't use these shades just in a look so I always have to pull something um, you know to complement these palettes and I don't mind that it's just that I'm like yeah why and I think I have something like this in a uh, single it's such a beautiful shade but I have something like this in a single by um, Sydney Grace. So but look at that. But I have these shades. I have these shades. I'm fine. I'm going to get rid of that. Then um, the, the lady that had blush stripes, she started a new brand. And she already quit that brand as well, unfortunately. And she started Mayali Beauty. And this is the Yaya palette. So beautiful. And this palette I'm going to keep because this is, when I open this up, I instantly get inspired. Instantly. I instantly like, I know what I want to do. I know what type of look I want to create. And that is what I want. I want to open a palette and be inspired and not like, what am I going to do? So this one is staying. And this is the Ayubia. It's so beautiful. Look at these colors. This one is also so stunning. I have no clue what it's called, but it's such a beautiful shade. And this one as well. This one as well. And they work so beautifully. But this is also a palette. When I open it up, I'm like, I don't know, man. I don't know what I'm gonna do. So I like these type of colors. I think it's smaller palette, just little capsule color stories that are not so all over the place that I'm like, I don't know how to make a look that I love. So that is why I'm gonna get rid of this. And also because my Ollie Beauty is no longer a thing. I have to I have to start somewhere. And this is the Jasmine. It's also so beautiful when I open it up. I'm like, really, Chris? Really? Are you gonna do it? But yeah, I'm gonna do it. There are a few shades in here. One, two, three, four, five six i haven't touched yet and this brand has come come and gone i have to be realistic oh look at this it's so beautiful ah oh, it's so beautiful and i can say i have it somewhere i probably do but if i don't i will get it if i miss it it's like sometimes you keep stuff and you think oh it's so beautiful i'm gonna keep it because it's so beautiful yeah but am i gonna use it i don't know if i will so I'm gonna get rid of these three. Next up are three palettes I have from Certify. This is the Eternity palette. Oh, this is so beautiful. This is so stunning. But I used this shade Love Bug in a look a few, well, it's a few months back now, like two months ago. And I got this, the craziest eye infection. It was hurting for like, a full week i had to take medicine for it everything so i'm gonna get rid of this and i'm also going to get rid of the certified the infirmity palette because this is something i will never reach for it's just blues and greens i will never if i'm looking at this palette i see like exactly one shade this one that i've actually used or swatched and i've had this for so long and i think just, it just gone bad or something no dude, no dog. That's a no for me. And I also have the Dynasty palette. <sighs> Same thing. I haven't used this. Like seriously. I can see 
two shades. Two shades. Oh, maybe three. Maybe three. Yeah, no, I have to get rid of some stuff, guys. And these are the type of palettes I look at and I think it's so stunning. And the colors look so beautiful, but it doesn't... I can't create a look in my head. And this one may be more than the other ones because I have... Or than the, the, like, the Affinity palette because you have these, like, neutrals up here. But then still, I won't use this shade with this. I won't do that. I won't. No, 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 no. I'm going to get rid of these. I'm gonna get this one, the Ace Beauty. This is the Falling For You palette. This is a beautiful color story. This is also a color story where I'm a little bit challenged. But as you can see, I have like this candy corn shade that looks a little bit like that very bright rose petal I just had in the other palette. I'm going to, going to declutter, but I'm going to hold on to this one because this is the new Ace Beauty formula. It is stunning, it is beautiful. This is not a palette necessarily that I'm like, Okay, I get totally inspired and I can make a full look with just the one palette. No, I have to pull something in. I don't mind doing that, but I have to love what's in there. And I have to love the formula. And this formula is really, really stunning. I also have this beautiful, like very deep black and purple in here. So I have the purple that I had in the Jasmine and in the Ayubia palette. I have them in here. So I'm good. I'm going to keep this. This is the Flare palette by Ace Beauté. I think this is also really stunning, but this is the old Ace Beauté formula. And I have to admit, I don't really love it that much. And especially when I'm looking at the color story, it's like, it's not the same by any means. It's not the same. I can see it's not the same. It's just that I can see some similarities in here and I can see some stuff I have in other palettes. Then I'm good. You know, these type of shades I have in other palettes. This cider I have in other palettes. This saffron looks a lot like candy corn. It's it's not that different. As you can see, it's not that different. So because I'm keeping this one, I'm going to get rid of this one. This is stunning though, that mulberry. Oh, get it out of the way. Get it out of the way before I change my mind. And then the last one by H. Beauté is a Tropical Vibes palette. And as you can see, I have all the quirky greens I need in this palette. I don't need to keep anything else. I have that palm tree that looks a lot like the shade I just decluttered the ha vara or the, the beautiful like murky mustardy colors. I can create something like that with this one. And also I just know I will have it in any of the other palettes you will see in a sec. So this one I'm going to keep and this one I'm going to keep and the flare palette is going. Next palettes that um, are from Indie, from an Indie brand, are these by LH Cosmetics. I have the Enchanted Mystery. This is this still says Linda Halberia because this is her brand, but it's called LH Cosmetics now. Uh, but Linda Halberg is a um, Swedish um, makeup artist. She has a beautiful Instagram as well. So if you want to follow her, I would totally, I would totally recommend doing that. And this is the Enchanted Mysteries. And this is like a beautiful wintry Christmas palette. This is a duochrome. It's a green to a deep purple. It's so stunning. This is also duochrome. It's like a white to a very light pink. It's not that strong, but it's stunning. And these two as well. And this is just a fun palette to have to just, you know, if you want to play around a little bit or be creative, you just pull this out and see where you, how you can combine it with something else and just go nuts basically. So this one I'm going to keep. This one is the Infinity Clam palette. And as you can see around here, can you see it better than that? Yeah. It's, it's chewed up. It's chewed up. I have a dog, Denver, and he's very cute, but he's also a bit of an asshole sometimes because he did this and he totally broke the mirror. And I'm so glad that this was on here because I lost a little bit and I was like, oh my God, I, I hope he didn't like, um, what's it called? Swallowed it, but he didn't. He didn't. I'm so glad. This is a beautiful palette, but what I've known and what I've come to learn about this palette is that this is this is LH Cosmetics is very much about all purposes they are very much about using the makeup for everything and I love that concept and this is something I would totally bring and then just use uh, like highlighters or maybe just a, an easy eye look something like that but I wouldn't use these as bronzer so for me 
I don't know, Dev did me a bit of a favor, I think. I would not have gotten rid of this, but I don't, if Denver didn't chew it up, but I, I'm gonna get rid of it now because this is gross. I'm not gonna use this anymore, but I won't repurpose, repurchase it also, if you know what I mean. So this is going. Then I also have the Spectral palette, and this one I'm gonna keep because I think these colors are so much fun and they're really good quality. And because I got rid of the Sapphire and the Flower Bomb palettes, I have shades like this still, like those still, but I have it from uh, LH Cosmetics. I don't love the big pans. This could be just so much smaller, this palette, but it's a beautiful quality. This is also such a stunning shade, that occult shade. Really beautiful. And this one, ugh. It's so cute. You have to really build them up, but oh, look at that. It's so beautiful, that pastel green, pastel kermity green. Love it. Okay, what's next? Let me see what's next. I think I'm just gonna do a little bit of these miscellaneous ones because they're just hanging around here. This is the Glen Light Ice Cream Dream Palette. Yeah. It is really cute, it's really beautiful, it's really stunning, but it has like one, two, three, four, five shimmers that are like so similar. And I have to say, that is, this sounds a bit odd maybe, but that pisses me off a little bit. I Why are there five waffle colored? I know it's ice cream, but why, why five? This could have been reduced to like just this, and we would have been fine. Maybe with some darker... I don't know, but uh, this also got that orange cream in here. And that's so beautiful. That I love these shades. I have one from Davina. It's called Penelope. Beautiful shade. I love those kind of a shade. And I think I have one in the Cartagena palette as well. The Maybe palette. Yeah, the Maybe palette has them as well. So I think that Maybe is going to be a keeper. I don't know, guys. I'm just gonna put it in my maybe palette, in my maybe pile, because I cannot decide right now. But I'm leaning towards getting rid of it because I really don't don't like this part. I like this part without that one. Maybe if I can put that one in there, then it would be such a well. Maybe, maybe, maybe it will stay. I don't know. Okay, this is the Be Perfect Carnival, the antidote palette. This is huge. This is annoyingly huge. But as you can see, I have a lot of these very fun shades that I was like ooing and aahing about. For me, if I have like a 16 pen palette and there's one shade in there that I love, I'm not gonna keep it. It's for me, one shade won't sell me a palette. It's not like that for me. I want to have more out of my palettes. And I think that if I want that particular shade that badly, I can get it at Lethal Cosmetics. I can get it at Davina Cosmetics. They make beautiful matte shades. Uh, Sydney Grace, same story. So I just will do that and get rid of the clutter because it's too much. But this one I'm gonna keep. It's, it's annoyingly, annoyingly huge, I know, but it has, it has what I want. And it is a good quality. I know a few of the Be Perfect palettes are not great. This one I can really work with. I don't know if it's the great quality, but it's good enough quality. So I'm gonna keep this one. And now here I have the Revolution Makeup, uh, the Makeup Revolution, the Emily Edit, the Wands palette. Jesus, it's like one palette and it has a million names. Oh my God, I'm gonna open it. I'm gonna show you. It's going to be, it's a last hurrah. I think we all know this. It is such a cute palette. It also has these shades that I so love. It has the murky one. Hobby is really nice. There's some very unique shades in here. But these are shades I have. Because I kept the Be Perfect palette. This is Makeup Revolution. It's not great. It was good quality for Makeup Revolution. But it's not great. I don't watch Emily Noel as much as I used to. I really bought it because I... I wanted to support her and I think she's a great lady. It's just right now, I think this is the time. This has survived so many declutters. It's time. Okay, next up, I'm going to do Morphe. These are two of the Morphe um, and Jacqueline. I only have Jacqueline Hill and Morphe here. <laughs> this is the Armed and Gorgeous. I love this color story. It's a beautiful color story. It's nice and small, this palette. It's perfect for traveling. 
The quality is really nice. I feel like these three are a bit same-ish. Same they could have totally got rid of this one and just have these one and just had a very deep dark brown next to this one because it's nice but it's not dark enough or maybe something lighter green something like that it would have been fun but it's good it's a nice palette i'm going to keep it uh same 4d i thought this was armed and gorgeous but it, but oh this is dark magic this is the dark magic palette it's like a trip down memory lane isn't it it's so much fun i'm going to keep this as well i think this is a really dark color story and I love that, especially for now. And I think it's fun to have something like this for traveling. Um, and you can make a full look because it goes really light to really dark. And for me, I can make a full look out of this. I don't need to grab something else. So that is what I'm looking for in a palette as well. And I like these taupey shimmers. So yeah, I think I'm gonna keep this. I didn't really expect me to do this, but I'm gonna keep this one. This is the second um, Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette, but it's the first one in the white packaging. And I um, did a project with this, so you see all these little black dots because I had to use all of the shades. I think I used it for a month and I had to use all of the shades. I really liked it. I have been playing with this palette for so many times and so many years, but I think it's time to get rid of it. Because it's so huge, I never reach for such huge palettes. And it's not, ne not that unique of a color story. I have these darkers. In the Dark Magic palette, I have a few of these shades. In the Armed and Gorgeous palette. And in a trillion other palettes. Because let's face it, Morphe is not that original when it comes to color stories. Let's take a long, good, last look at it and close that chapter. And then I have the volume 2 palette by Jaclyn Hill. And this one I'm going to keep because look at this color story. And again, I have the brights over here. I really, really love. I don't have that beautiful, that certain, shouldn't say qua pink, but I have that in Penelope, so I'm fine. But this one I'm going to keep because I think this is much more of a unique color story. And yeah, I have a lot of these like transition shades. I know it's, it's unique enough to keep it. So these three are staying. Let's do Kaleidos next. I love Kaleidos Cosmetics. I love it. These were in my December basket in like my December palettes I had to use for, for this month with Juvia's Place and the Beauty Bay palettes. I had a lot, a lot this last month. Um, so I'm going to get through this and I think I'm going to declutter one. It's going to hurt like F, but... I am going to declutter one, I think. Okay, I'm going to see if I can do this in order of the order. One, two, this is three, this is four, this is five, and these are what they are. Okay, I put them in like the small ones, I put them in the order. And yes, I have all of the sleeves. Don't ask me why, but I have them. I love this packaging. This is so stunning. This is the Futurism One uh, Sci-Fi Green. I love greens. And these shades are so stunning. So this is staying. This is the Futurism Two Cyber Bronze. And this is also so stunning. I did such a cool look using this red shimmer oh it is so beautiful it is especially beautiful on the eye it's like almost a black and red it's so if you look at your finger it's so smooth on the finger but look at this it's so beautiful it's such a stunning shade and every time i open this palette i get so inspired because of that red and these three shades are really handy to have they're just really nice to blend out with greens with uh, the reds but also uh, with um, like purples with blues you can use you can use them a lot and it, it's fun i have such fun with this palette okay this is a futurism 3 astro pink this is the color store and this is also so beautiful this blue can i show you without like flashing you in a mirror 
that's the only word. The packaging is so sturdy, stunning and luxurious, but it's very sturdy, so it stays up. But that's a bit annoying when I want to show you. This shade is like a blackened, purpley blue. It's so stunning. It represents this in a shade. It's so stunning. And also this one is really nice and you can, it's, it's not the easiest shade to work with, but it's not terrible or not difficult, really that difficult. Just use a softer brush. If you don't want to um, like really stamp it on, use a softer blending brush and it looks stunning. These are such handy, like cool tone transition shades. I love them. I don't know if you use, if you have to have both of them in the, in the palette, but they're here. And this is just a beautiful, like pinky purple, um, almost like a silvery shade. I love it. This is the Futurism 4 VR Neon. And this is the one that I will get rid of because these are just neon shades. I don't use this, seriously. This is the only palette I didn't get to use this year because I was like, um, how, what, how, oh, I just lost, lost, totally lost. I did not know what to do with this. This is not a color story that is a full, look for me and also i wouldn't know what to pull to make this look comprehensive or beautiful or stunning or sophisticated on the eye and i do like to be a little bit sophisticated sometimes this could be something but still i have something like oh my god and then you swatch it and you're sold oh my god look at this but i have something like this in my i think in one of the palettes from Uden's eye so i'm i'm gonna get rid of it I know it's discontinued. I'm not going to send it out to anyone. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get rid of it. I'm gonna give it to someone who is going to have like fun for Halloween or we celebrate carnival here in, in, in Holland. So yeah, I'm gonna get rid of this one. Oh my God, it hurts my heart. <laughs> this is the Futurism 5 Electro Turquoise. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna move on because this makes me so happy. This is so stunning. Get this. Oh my god, this is so beautiful. And you know, this one, I can think of a look. I can totally think of a look. I'm instantly inspired. All these shades go together. It's stunning. So this is I'm totally gonna keep this. This is a no-brainer. Then I have the lunar lavender. This is the futurism six lunar lavender. And I, look at this, it's stunning. It's a stunning little, very, it's beautifully colorful, but it's also understated. This, these two shimmers are so beautiful, but also these purples, they work so beautifully on the eye. It is such a stunning color story. And these two complement the rest like a dream. Kaleidos, they really do the best color stories. It all fits. The only thing is the neon one. It's just having a fun palette along with the rest. There's a hair from Denver in here. But I don't get that palette. This I get. This I get. And I, I really love it. And then I have the last one. This is Shishimi City. And this is the Futurism 7. This is the last one in the Futurism um, range. And I think this... Are these discontinued? I don't know for sure. This is really neutral. Um, and you could argue it's a bit boring. But these two shimmers are so beautiful. Oh my god. Like, you can see it on my finger, I think. Is it focusing on my finger? Look at that. It's it's a weird movement. I will get... Oh, well, I, I, I can be demonetized because I'm not monetized, but <laughs> I would be. Look at this. Oh. These are so stunning. It's like a salmon with a gold with a peach and it's like they're truly beautiful topper shades and this one is like a little bit of a light blue with a turquoise and a gold it's and they're topper shades so they're really beautiful really fun and you can you they have enough base to it to just use them on their own especially if you have older lids like i do older eyelids it is really stunning to just have that topper shade on your eye because it's not that foiled. So it doesn't really show off all the wrinkles on your eye. It doesn't matter that you have them, you know, but I don't like to enhance them. So I'm going to keep that one. It's also, 
I think really nice to have because of those matte shades that are really complementary to um, other palettes as well. Then this one, this is the Escape Bot. And I got this palette a little later because I didn't know for sure if I was going to love it. Then I bought it, never used it because that's what I do. So that is why I had this project. And then I used it and I fell head over heels for this palette. Because, you know... I love colorful shadows. You can see it in my collection, but I don't love to have very loud, very colorful, all colorful um, looks. I love to have something that's a little softer and you combine some, you combine the color with the softness. I love that combo and these shades give you that for this palette and these little, um, uh, Shimmers are really beautiful. They're very special shimmers. This one is also so nice. And this one, oh, so beautiful. It's so beautiful. This is like a pinker version of this one. It has more of a, like a pinker base, but it also has that like limey stuff through it. And this is just a beautiful green. Oh, I hope you can see it. It's so, I think it's just not focusing. Ugh, I can't reach, I can't reach. But it's, I don't think it's really focusing on my arm. But you you know, what? you can see what I mean. It's so beautiful. And this is something, this is a palette I haven't been using enough. Because I used it this last month and I got so inspired by it. I want to use it more. Uh, and this is the Club Nemla uh, palette by uh, Kaleidos and Angelica Nikvist. I love Angelica and I love Kaleidos so I had to have this. And somehow I threw away the box and the sleeve from this one. It came in a beautiful, like, uh, bigger PR box. Kind of, it's not PR. It's not PR. I bought it. But it came in a beautiful box. And um, this is just stunning. These three, like, toppery, beautiful light shades. Like, uh, toppery shade, shimmer shades. This is a very beautiful shade. I love this kind of a salmon shade. Ugh, it's so stunning. This Astro shade is stunning. This is stunning. And I especially love this one. That rock hopper. Is it rock hopper? Yeah, rock hopper. If you just blend this out over your whole eye, just very lightly, it's just, this is the, like that one look, one shadow, one look type of a shadow. Stunning. Also this one, beautiful. And the red, okay. You catch my drift. I love them. So I'm keeping all of these and I'm gonna uh, get rid of this one. I have two hair from Dose of Colors. This is the Sassy Sienna's. And I love these two shades. And also these. They're really handy shades to have. They're very complementary to other shades. If I bring something really colorful and I just bring this one along, then I have a complete palette. So I'm going to keep this one. But this, I don't know. I bought it. I think I bought it on a very, you know... Good seal. It's still in here because I haven't used it that much. This packaging is so beautiful. I'm a sucker for packaging. But these shades, it's not a look for me. It's not a one palette, one look. I know you can, but it's, I don't know. These I have these shades. I'm going to get rid of this. Sorry. I'm going to get rid of it. <sighs> I'm saying sorry to me because it's. It's hurting me a little bit because I think it's really beautiful and the packaging is so beautiful. But I know I won't reach for this. I just know I won't. No, sorry. Well, there was a moment. Um, let me see. What do I want to get into next? Shall we do Colourpop? Guys, shall we do Colourpop? It's over here. I have a few of the smaller ones. And I have decluttered a lot of Colourpop in the past. So... I'm really curious what I'm going to do. Okay, this is the Here Comes the Sun palette. It's a magnetic palette, like an empty magnetic palette with all um, singles in there. And this is the color story. It looks a lot like the Jaclyn Hill one, but I really, really like it. There are two pressed glitters in here that I, I don't mind that. I think they're nice. I might declutter a few of these shades because I don't love them all and I won't use them all. And just keep the empty palette and just, you know, put some more in here. But I think this is such a beautiful color story. And Here Comes the Sun is a very special song for me. That is why I'm just gonna hold on to that one. This is the designer collection, uh, princess collection by Colourpop. It's the Disney collection. And oh, guys, I am going to declutter this. 
this I opened it up when I was I was having Colourpop in my like in my project in the month I was using Colourpop and I was like yeah I this is totally something I am keeping for the uh, packaging and I'm not into that I'm not doing that I am going to miss it because it's so cute look at this it's so stunning but no I I won't keep packaging if I am not gonna use the inside no I recently sold my Besame Aurora palette because I did the same thing. And I have to be realistic and not be a child and put this away. No, oh, oh, that hurt. That hurt. This is the Misunderstood palette. This is also in the Disney palette, but this is the Disney Villains. This is way much more fun. This is a way much more fun color story. I really, really had some fun playing with this. But if I'm being really realistic, I just opened it up and I was like, I was so sure I was going to keep this. But when I'm looking at, at it right now, I'm like, really? There are two, four, six, eight, ten shades in this palette and two, four, five mattes. This is not... A division I really love. This is not in the... And this is shades. I already... The only one that is really speaking to me is this one. And it's... I already have this. So I'm getting rid of this. Apparently. That's a moment. Oh my god. That was a moment. Alright. Then through my eyes palette. This is with I Love Sari and Colourpop. And I just really love this color story. And I have this euphoric here. Uh, this... Um, What's it called? Nostalgia. This is a palette. When I open it up, I can see myself creating three, maybe even four looks with this. And that is why it's staying. Because this is perfect to bring for me on a holiday. I travel to Sweden a lot because I uh, my mom lives there. And I still uh, travel to France and to England to meet my ex-in-laws. So this is just so handy to have and i'm gonna keep it because of that and the quality is really really stunning when i just had my channel i did these one month one palette videos and i um did a look with i did a month with this one this is the sweet talk palette this is a pressed powder palette okay i am struggling a little bit because i really i think this is a stunning cute little palette it's the same thing i can take a traveling it has one two three four shades i really love it's very matte heavy it has this beautiful super shock i just sold it to myself i'm gonna keep this then i have the dream dream street um palette by kathleen lights and Colourpop. okay I have to be realistic here. I have to be realistic here. Out of these two, I would keep this one. I would keep the I love that through my eyes palette. But I love the Dream Street. Oof. Why is this hard for me? I don't even watch Kathleen Light. I never watched her, but I really wanted to get the Dream Street back in the day. And it's still a lovely palette. It's beautiful. It has beautiful mats. Okay, I'm going to put this in the maybe pile. So I can't decide. I'm, I can't decide. This is keeping. Okay, this is the uh, smaller palette. This is the high tide palette. Definitely keeping this one. This is a beautiful color story. I love it. This is the child palette by um, in the Star Wars um, collection. It's staying. Because it's cute. It's Star Wars. It's staying. I have... Star Wars and me go way, way back. My uncle is a big, big fan. He goes to all these conventions and stuff. They dress up like stormtroopers. It's a whole lot of fun. Um, this is the Strawberry Shake palette. And I am debating. This is something I really loved using this. But these shades I have in the I Love Sari Sweet Dog. And I think in Dream Street. So, oof, I'm not going to get rid of this. I'm gonna get rid of this. Oh my god, look at me. Uh, this is the Orchid You Not palette. And this is the palette I bought because um, Angelica Nikvis loves this, this that much. A lot. And she said that it's a beautiful, like, a whiny, berry uh, red. But it pulls really purple on me. So I want to... It's not a maybe palette. I'm gonna keep it. But it's something that I really have to get some more use out of it. Because I feel I can do better. With this it's a beautiful beautiful palette the quality is stunning boy yeah, i don't know 
Oké, okay, this is the Go and Coconut palette. This is just such an easy and handy palette to have, like a companion palette, two very colorful palettes. It's not that big. So if I take something that is really colorful and I take this one along as well, I have a very complete color story with me. So I'm gonna keep it. And this, same, I'm just gonna show you because it's fun to show you. This is the Mandalorian and the Star Wars. Star Wars, yeah, Star Wars. I say Star Wars because I'm Dutch, but it's Star Wars. Um, palette, it's the Mandalorian palette. It's stunning, I'm keeping it. Oh my god, I'm gonna be here for hours. These are the three I'm gonna get rid of. And it's a bit it's a bit weird getting rid of these because they've been in my collection for so long. But I really want to change how I view makeup and how I consume makeup, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of them. Alright, next up I wanna do melt cosmetics. I don't think I'm gonna get rid of any of these. I have two stacks that are <laughs> I want to say they were attached together, but they were not. And three palettes. And I'm going to keep them all. This is the blueprint stack. I, should I keep that? Should I keep this? Really? I never use it. Ugh, there's a hair in here. This is the blueprint stack, guys. You know, the thing is, in theory, these are really handy, but it's like one, two, three, four, five, six shimmers and two mattes. I've thrown away palettes for less. Oh, this is going in the maybe. It's, it's going in the maybe only because I'm like, really? Am I going to get rid of a melt stack? Like, really? Really? But yeah, this is the rust stack. I don't feel like I'm gonna get rid of this one, but I said the same thing for the blue. Because I really, no, I'm not gonna get rid of this because these are all mattes. These are stunning and so handy to take with you. If you go on a holiday and you just, as I said, bring something really colorful, then Okay, the only palette I kept the sleeve of is the Gemini palette because this palette has a tendency to go bad. Ugh, I'm never getting rid of this. This is me in a palette, like especially in fall. I love it and the quality is really nice. The shimmers are shit, but there are only two shimmers in here. So for me, that's the best. If it's not a full matte palette, then let there only be two shimmers because I love that. This is the Mary Jane palette. This is a beautiful cool tone color story. I love it. I'm not getting rid of it. The quality is really nice as well. I don't love the shimmers because Melt is not really that good in shimmers. But this is just the shimmers there that are in here are really, really cool. So yeah, they're not great, but they're really cool. You can make them work if you just spray them. And this is the She's in Parties palette. This is one of my favorites. This, these, oh, especially these colors, like this one with these, oh, it's so stunning. It's very shimmer heavy though, but I recently created a look with this. I think yesterday, like recently yesterday, I, I love it. I love it. I'm keeping it. They're all staying. I think, can I put some things on the side now or do I have to? Um... Okay, I think Nabla. Nabla's over here, so I'm gonna do Nabla. I have quite some Nabla. I have... How many cutie palettes? I have two, five cutie palettes, and the rest are just palettes, palettes. Oh, and this is going to be difficult, because... Uh, when using these, I think I used them last month or the month before, but I, I wasn't too blown away by the quality. Oh, and I'm a little like, ugh, am I going to, what am I going to do? I think I'm going to keep this one because I think this is a very handy palette for me to take on holiday. It's very, you have dark, you have light, you have these beautiful transition shades as well as hair. You can make a few very consistent or cohesive looks with this. It's a, just a cohesive palette for me, so I like that. This is the secret palette. I really like it, but if I'm really honest, I have all these shades already. And I think I have them in better, better quality. So I can't believe I'm saying this, but I think I'm going to get rid of this one. 
Oh my god, I think I'm gonna get rid of it. Oof, that is a moment. All right, this is the side by side palette. This is just a very easy um, neutral palette. I do like neutrals, I just don't love a full neutral look because I think it's a little bit boring to create. But yeah, this is a beautiful palette and it's so handy to have as a companion to the rest because you have this. Ah, oh, these beautiful murky shades. It's just beautiful. It's not a warm neutral palette, but you have some warm. You have a lot of like more cool toned neutrals. You have beautiful shimmers. You have a few different formulas in here. This is a beautiful, beautiful palette. This is the Nabla Soul Blooming Eyeshadow Palette. This one is discontinued. Did we know? But it's discontinued. I'm keeping this because I love it. It's been everywhere with me i love this palette it's so cute it's me in spring i love it this is the nabla 2 dreamy palette it's the mystic palette and i think i can't believe i'm saying this but i think i'm gonna get rid of this because there are two of those latex shades in here that that formula i don't love because it dries up really really quickly and i can't make it work after that this is it looks really stunning and it it's oh it seems like you can make it work, but you really can't. It's like, it's crumbly. It's it's such a weird formula. So no, I think I'm going to get rid of it because this is just not, if I open it up, the moment that I used it, I opened it up and I was like, yeah, it's beautiful, but do I love it? No, I don't. This shade, I don't love these stuff. I know I'm switching it over a green, but it was already gone. I don't like this, like wine to green duochrome so that is something there's just not enough in this palette to warrant me keeping it it's also this whole process is also very much me trying to be more intentional with my spending and getting rid of some stuff even though it hurts really makes you more aware of what you're buying i feel this is the Poison Garden by Nabla. This is mm, this is a great pal palette in theory, but it doesn't inspire me as much as I thought it would. So I think I'm gonna get rid of it. I can I can see I have this for I've had this for years, like literal years. I think I bought most of these palettes in 2019, the bigger ones. Except for the side by side, but 2019, yeah, because it was pre-COVID, and I haven't, I haven't used it. I have used it, I think maybe two or two or three times, and I think the most times were because I had this in a project. So this is going. What am I doing? Okay, I'm going to get into the cutie palette, and I think, I yeah, I have the number one. This is the nude. I'm gonna get rid of this. Nothing in here is saying yes, keep me. There are three of those latex shades and this is a beautiful shade, but because it, that's, it is that latex uh, formula, I can't work with it. And the rest is not special enough. So this is going, oof, I'm being really brutal. I get a headache. Oof, I'm getting a headache, guys. This is the Coral palette. Um, this is a big maybe. Because I have that red one here, this, that Mandarin is really fun. But it's not a color story just on its own for me. I I don't, I cannot create a cohesive look with this. So I'm a little, didn't I keep one with that red? Didn't I keep one? Yeah, I kept the, um... oof. Guys, I feel myself getting rid of this because I have that red. I have that red in... I don't like this. I have that red in my um, Kaleidos one. Yep, no, it's going. Oh my god, it's going, guys. Um, This is number six, number four, number five. I don't have number three. I wouldn't know what, what is number three. Is that the other one, like the very neutral one, the silvery one? This is the Metropolitan. This one I'm going to keep because I... Do I? Do I? Yeah, because this one I can create a full look. So I can take this on holiday and create a full look just using these. So this one is staying. The Wild Berry is definitely staying. I love this. This shade. 
stunning. I love it. So this is staying. And then this is the Midnight palette. And I have, an, I have a feeling that there's a possibility that this is going into the maybe pile because um, uh, huh. oh no this is so beautiful you know because I got rid of the blue stack I am going to keep this one because I, it has a place I feel in my collection I'm not gonna Get rid of all the swatches just yet but i i feel this has a place so i am going to keep it no i am going to keep this because it has a place it has a place in my collection this is something i would definitely take with me i could see myself just taking this this one and the side by side or the dreamy maybe even no well no i would these two I could take on holiday and I would be fine. So I'm going to get rid of these five. Really, dude? Am I? Wow. I'm going to get rid of these five. And I'm going to do it quickly because I'm changing my mind already. Oh my god, seriously. And I'm going to keep these six. I'm going to do some easy stuff for me now. This is the Lime Crime uh, Greatest Hits Classics. Oh yeah, I have all these beautiful, this beautiful in bloom shade. Oh my God, I have a double up because I also have this one. But this is staying because this is something, it's cohesive to me. It's something I can make a full look out of. It's fine, I'm gonna keep this one. So this is staying. And I have the Venus XL. And if you are like, gee, this looks familiar. Yes, it does. It's very much um, the same. <laughs> almost as the new retro glam uh, palette but it's kind of bitch though my look for for this palette because this way this one is way older and this palette is the reason i'm never going to get the retro glam because this is beautiful quality the color story is the same and i don't need the retro glam because i already have this one so this is also staying okay then i'm going to go into urban decay this is the naked honey palette i'm gonna get rid of this because i don't reach for it in all the colors I have. So this is going. This is the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. I love this. This is staying. This is stunning. It is such a cohesive color story. I have everything in here. Still shot is that beautiful pinky salmon color I love. So this is staying. And this is going. Because I use this. It's the Urban Decay Game of Thrones palette. I'm going to show you because it's... It's a moment. Look at it. Oh, can I? Yeah, because otherwise. This is the. Do I show you like this? This is the Iron Throne. So much fun. I'm watching that other series right now. House of Dragons. Jesus. It's oh, just as violent as Game of Thrones was. And this is the, um, the palette. It's so nicely. It's so much fun. Hard Home, Winterfell, King's Landing. Bay of Dragons, but it's all practically all shimmers. I think there are three. Yeah, you have three. Um, what's it called? Mats in here. That's way too little for me. I love that it's so. You know, you have to take the black, White Walker, Frozen North, Three Folk, Nemeria, Winter is here, Weirwood Le Leaves, and it's that beautiful. It's a, it's it's fun, and I know very. Like the nerdy fans don't really love this whole palette. I don't really care. I liked it, but I don't like it enough to use it. So I'm not gonna keep it. That was brutal. I'm gonna go into my BH Cosmetics. Okay, I have three of these bigger palettes. This is Lost in Los Angeles. I just got this because I knew I was going to get rid of a few of my pastel palettes and this is just something. It's it's a bit weird to say I'm going to get rid of something and buy something else, but I think this is the most complete smallest thing I could find with pastels. And I think this is just an easier go for me. It's only 16 euros, so that is why I got this and I'm getting rid of the rest because I knew I was going to getting rid of the rest. This is Passion in Paris, very stunning color story. And this is the Blueberry Muffin, also beautiful color story. One of the 
best. These are really one of the best palettes by BH Cosmetics. And I'm keeping all of them. And then I have a few of these Birdstone. Yeah, the Birdstone collection. And I this one I'm going to get rid of. This is the one from December. This is turquoise one. Then forgot to this one again. So it pains me a little, but I'm going to get rid of this. And this is the Peridot for August. I think this is a beautiful color story. I love greens. And if you com if you combine it with the, um, the emerald for May. Look, this is just a beautiful green palette. You Everything you want, you have in this palette. In these two palettes. And you have two pressed glitters. I think they are fun. I know people don't love them, but I think they're fun. And these are so handy for me to take traveling. Then I have the diamond one. It's for April. It's not necessarily a very beautiful or very nice color story. But it's really small. It's easy to have. And it's April, my birth month. So that is why I'm going to keep this one. And this is Sapphire for September. And I love this color story. I think it's so much fun. And the quality is really nice. And this pressed glitter, I've used it a ton. But if I'm really honest, if I'm looking at it right now, I'm like, I have all these shades. Am I really going to hold on to something like this? I don't think I will. I think I'm going to get rid of this. I'm surprising myself, but I am going to get rid of this. So I'm getting rid of these two and I'm going to keep these six. So yeah, that happened. Wouldn't I? I don't know what is going to happen. I don't know. Let me go through just the palettes. This is the Giant Wolves palette. This is one with Uden's Eye and Annette Oberstadt. Oberstadt. She's Norwegian, but I, I don't speak Norwegian. So I'm sorry, but this, look at this. Oh my God, it is so beautiful. I haven't used it enough yet, but this is something I get so inspired by it. Yes, I need to pull something else because it's really dark, but I love it and it's so Annette. And I love Uden's eye. I love how this all looks. They they so do that the best. This is the Solomon palette. Um, I'm going to get rid of this, I think. This is not something I get really... I open it up and I'm like... Um, you can hear it in my voice. Even it's like I'm all... I'm, it's like I'm almost Marie kondo my whole collection. But... If I look at this, I'm like, yeah, I have all these shades. Do I think they're that special? No. So I'm going to get rid of Solomon. And I must say, I love saying Solomon. So, yeah. But that's not a good reason to keep it now, is it? This is one of the Saga of Freya uh, palette. They, Odin's Eye has all their collection. All their stuff is very much based on, or very much, I think, all of it. Except for that last, the single ones. I think they're just emeralds. Emerald collection, I believe it's called. I don't know. The single shadows. They're all shimmers. I don't think I'm going to get anything from that. But that's fine. Uh, but the rest is all based on uh, Nordic mythology. And this is uh, the Saga of Freya. And I think this is the second Freya collection I have. Because I also have a Freya collection, uh, Freya palette in here that is way older than this. And this, they had, I think, three small ones and one big book or two small ones and a big book um, palette. And this is the chapter two, the cat, with the cat with the Golden Carriage. And it is, I love this artwork, one. And two, look at this color story. It, it does remind you, I, I must say, it does remind me a lot of the uh, Kaleidos one, but but it is a little bit different. There One, there are more shades in here and it has like this more peachy shade. It has this beautiful, um, or not that one, that one, beautiful multi-colored um, orangey pink. And this is like, this is really special. This is a topper shade. And I don't think I can show you when I swatch it. No, I can't show you. Can I show you on my finger? No, because my fingers are really dirty. But it's a beautiful sparkly topper shade that has blue, gold, and a little bit of um, like orange in there. I think this is a stunning, stunning palette. So I'm going to keep it. Um, this one is the Hella palette by Oudens Eye and Angelica Nikfeest. I really love the color story. I don't love the artwork. It's not that I don't think it's beautifully done. It's beautifully done. It's just that I don't love... 
like the organs and skulls and I'm not that bitch. I'm very much this bitch. Kittens and elves and you know, but not this. But I love the color story. It's beautiful. It's very Angie. It's also very me. I um, really love Angelica Nikvist. If you have been on my channel for like one video, I mention her in almost all my videos. I should really stop because I look demented. But I really appreciate what she does. And this is a beautiful, beautiful palette. We have the same aesthetic when it comes to loving the same type of colors. It's just that she is like a very bolder version. I am not that bold in my color stories, but I love her aesthetic and stuff. Okay, I'm going to move on because otherwise it's going to be too much. This is the Diva palette. And this is also in the Freya collection. But this is, I think, the first Freya collection. And this is a cute palette. It's just, yeah. It doesn't inspire me that much. And this is not something I'm going to get a full look out of. There are only five mattes in here. The rest is all shimmer. So I'm going to get rid of this. And I'm going to do it really quickly. Because I am going to almost regret it. Uh, and then I have the Elva Swoa palette. This is the second Elva palette. They also had an Elva collection. I think the first time around. This is the second time around. And I think this is just so cute. And this is the little shade I was talking about. It's a pressed glitter. But it's like that orange with um, uh, like turquoise and lime green. I, or it's not turquoise. It's lime green, gold and orange. It's stunning. And I also have these really, really cute pastel um, shimmers. Pastel shades in here. Dark. It's, it's a dream. This is also so stunning. That apricot. Shade, it's that shade that I got rid of in the other palettes. I just have it. That's always the case. If you have a certain type when it comes to palettes, you have the colors, you have them. Um, this is the Urt palette. This is I what was this? I don't really remember what this collection was, but it doesn't really matter. It was also with goddesses. And I think you had three small ones like this and then one bigger one. And this is the Urt palette. And this is stunning. I think it's Urt. I think it was a palette about the goddesses of the future, present and past. And I think she's the past, but I don't know for sure. I'm not going to look it up. It's, it's no, it's, it's fine. But this is, well, do I need to say more? It is stunning. It is green. It is deep green, light green. It's such a fascinating color story. And then I also have a small uh, palette in the Elevat Swole collection. And this is the Mini Forest palette. And this is really cute. Um, and it's a, it's, it is a color story that is almost a full look. Almost. So I'm very much debating what I should do with this. I think it's going to go into the maybe pile because when I used it, I like it, but it's like, I don't know. So I'm going to get rid of two for sure. The Solomon and the Freya and it hurts me. And then I probably get rid of the Elevator because it's, I, I, I can't make a look out of that one. Um, and then I keep five. So that's nice. I think I'm going to go into somewhat mainstream, luxury, more expensive brands right now. This one I'm going to get rid of. I found it in a declutter box and I was like, no, I'm going to get rid of that. Yes, you are. Go, go, go. Do it, do it, do it. This is the, so this is going again. This is the Cherry Blossom Kabuki Doll Palette. And this is the palette, my, uh, not this exact palette. She had the same one uh, as my makeup artist for my wedding used this. I'm divorced right now, but the memory is still very much alive. So that is why I'm going to keep this one. I'm going to hold on to it. That's why I'm saying I need a nostalgia drawer, but just for two palettes would be a bit weird. But this I'm going to get rid of. Okay, I'm going to go into my ABH palettes. This is the Norbina Mini Pro Pigment Palette Volume 2. I never use this. I think I'm going to get rid of this. Am I though? Am I? Am I? Am I? Am I? I think. Oh, yeah. Seriously, this is clump. Look at this mess. Okay. Did you see what happened? Look at this. There's just. No. Okay. Well, well that decision was taking right, taken right out of my hands because this? No, I don't want this. 
I don't want this mess. Okay. No, this is going. Oh my god, seriously, don't get it. Um, this is my subculture palette. This is the one I uh, I I bought the original one. It wasn't great. I gave that away and I bought a new one because I really do enjoy this color story and I do enjoy the palette. And there are a lot of shades in here that are so unique. Roxy, love it. New Wave, beautiful. Edge, stunning. Memory, beautiful. Destiny. Oh, yes, 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 give it to me. This is the Riviera one, and I'm going to get rid of this because um, I have this one because I wanted to have the complete set. And yes, there are a few beautiful shades in here, but I have these shades. So I'm going to get rid of this one. It's, it's, it's a bit difficult, but I'm going to do it. This is the Soul Tree palette. I'm going to keep this one because this color story is just stunning. And it has everything I want in a cool tone palette. So this one is staying. This is the Prism palette by Anastasia. This is one I got because I wanted to have them all. <laughs> but I discovered I really like it. I love this shade. I haven't used it yet, but it's so beautiful. And I got rid of a shade like this in like the Flare palette by Ace Beauté. And I was already looking at that shade like, Shh, am I gonna really get rid of it? And now I find it in here. Good. Then also Eden. Beautiful. This Dimension palette. This is a, a, a palette a shade. This is a shade I am like... Ooh. I had to get rid of the Riviera. And I was looking at the like the, that kind of a shade. And I was like, oh, really? But I have it in this one. So I'm keeping this one. This is the Jackie Aina palette. And I am going to get... I wanted to say I'm going to get rid of it. But it's such a good palette. It's really such a good palette. I'm getting oh yeah. Oof. I'm gonna put it in the maybe because I I didn't. Hmm. I think I'm gonna just hold on to the Carly Bible one because this one surprised me so much. And these two shades are the shades I was a little bit like oh I have to get rid of the Riviera and they're in here. They are they're very light shades in here. It doesn't go dark enough, but I think. And as you can see, I've used it a lot. I really loved it. I think I used this for a month and I fell head over heels in love with this palette. So I have to trust my old Anna Chris and just trust that and hold on to it. Modern Renaissance, gonna keep it. Love the shades. Norvina, same thing. Just gonna keep it, you know. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it. And then the Soft Glam one. I think I'm gonna hold on to this one because... Um, I, wanna, I think I'm going to give this to someone in the future, but I don't know if I want to get rid of it yet. So I'm going to keep this one. This is the only one I'm like, maybe it should be in the maybe pile. Do I need it? Let's be honest. Do I need it? If you have, if you have them all side by side like this, they're so similar. Yeah, I'm going to keep it because it makes me happy. It inspires me. I want to keep it. Okay, so I'm going to definitely get rid of the Riviera palette. And I'm maybe going to get rid of the Anastasia or the uh, Jackie Aina palette. Maybe. Okay, then let's get into Sigma. I have this small Ivy palette. I am going to hold on to this one. Because as you can see, it's easy. It's green. It goes from light. It goes from dark. I can make a few looks out of this one. And it's so handy to take traveling with me. And as I said, I do travel quite a bit, so I'm going to keep this. This is the Untamed palette, and I love this color story, so I'm definitely keeping this. This is so smartly done, and the, the shades are beautiful. The quality is beautiful, so I'm keeping this one. Then I have the Enchanted palette, and I am... Every time I open this, I'm like, oh, I want to keep it, but I'm, but I'm... Do I really... I have these shades. If I'm keeping soft glam and if I'm keeping subculture, I have this. I'm gonna get rid of this. Really? It's just the only reason why I'm like, should I get rid of this? Is like, I paid money for it. And it's such a waste that I'm already getting rid of it. But to me, that is also a lesson. So... 
This is the Corderosa palette. I'm keeping this one because I love oh, this. This Corderosa shade is so beautiful. And this is such a cohesive palette for me. I want to keep this. I love this palette. So this one is staying. And this is the Sigma New Mauve palette. Um, I'm going to keep it because I want to see how... Um, how winey wine colored i can make this i should play with this a little bit more i'm, I'm definitely seeing that right now it's not going into the maybe pile but it's i must say i'm not as convinced about keeping this one as i am in keeping these does that mean i it's so new also should I put it in my maybe pile? Should I do something with my maybe pile? I think I should just put it in my maybe pile and figure out if I want to do something with my maybe pile. And I'm going to get rid of the Enchanted. It's beautiful. It's so cute. But I'm, I mainly love the outside. Not, the inside is cute, but it's not. We go into oof, Natasha Denono. No, it's not a shit know. Okay, I'm just gonna start off with the big ones. I have the Biba palette. I'm gonna keep this palette because it's so handy for me to have. All the neutrals, mostly mattes or like that beautiful. This is also like that latex type of shade, the cream to powder type of shade um, formula. And this one works. Where the Nebula didn't work, this works. So I love this. Um, this is the, this is not necessarily something that is very inspiring to me, but it's a nice companion palette for me. This is the Safari palette. I love, 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 love this palette. This is a full matte palette and it has such original colored shades. I love it. I think this is really undervalued, underappreciated. It's beautiful. Oh my God. Um, this is the Natasha Denona Metropolis palette. I really do like this palette. It's just that it's... It's not a full, complete look for me, and I have been debating what I should do, but I think I'm gonna hold on to this one, and I am going to declutter the gold palette. And maybe there are gasps all around the world now, but this is a palette that doesn't stay on my eyes, and I wanted to get this palette um, so badly because it's the gold palette. It's a cult favorite. It's beautiful when you look at it, but on the eye, these four, uh, not that one, but these three shades are very similar. This doesn't really go that deep. And this disappears off your eyes immediately. And then these two golds are really green. So every time I am like, oof, I want to do something with the gold palette, I'm always disappointed. And it doesn't go light enough. You only have that light shimmer. They could have made this one really light or this one really light and it's not. So I'm going to get rid of that. Okay, well, and then I have the Natasha Denona Sunset Palette. I'm also going to get rid of this one. And the reason is because every time I open this, I clean this oily residue and it's getting worse. And it's... All the time, and every time I open it again, it's there again. It's a beautiful color story. It's totally sunset. It's something that is very complementary to my eye color, but I don't care. I'm gonna go rid of it. Okay, that was a moment. Then this is the retro palette. I like it. I didn't love it as much as everybody else because I feel like these shades don't go. They don't look like they look in the pan for me. Maybe I should practice a little bit more with this, but. Other than that, it's a beautiful palette. I can keep deepening it up with this one. I love this type of color story. I think this is really cute. The psychedelic is really cute. I think it's beautiful. So I'm going to keep it. Then I have the love palette. Also a lot of mattes in here. And I think that is so fun. And it goes really, really dark because of commitment. Keeping that one. Then the sunrise palette. Also keeping it because... I, it's small and it has that beauty, the beautiful shades that I also had in the Sunset palette, but a little bit more 
pizzazz to it. So that is why I love this. And look at the, I should just play with this more. I'm looking at this, I should play with this more. I use it a few, I, because I had to go through so many palettes. Sometimes I just combine two palettes and then I could say I've used them, but then I only used one or two shades. And I think I used these two, like the love and the sunrise together like that. And that is why I didn't use a lot of the shades, but I really should, oh, it's getting a little bit scratched. I should really get into that more. Um, this is the Glam palette. This is also staying because it's such an easy palette to have for like any color you want to use. You can use this as a companion. It's beautiful. And then the Zendo palette that is just beautiful on its own. I love these shades. Oh my God. But the rest is also really stunning. You have that beautiful shade. I love that relief shade. I have plenty of, I, I can see now that I have plenty of that shade in my collection. So I'm good. Uh, this is the mini gold. This is staying. This is beautiful. This is such a fun little palette, such a handy one to have. This is the mini retro palette. I love, love, love this color story. And I already have the Venus XL uh, 2 palette, so I won't get the retro glam palette. But this is really a handy palette to have. The mini Biba, also love it. It is such a easy color story such compliment uh, very complimentary if i just bring like these four on a holiday i'm good i'm done i'm good and the last one i have is the sendo palette i'm also going to keep that one it's the mini i'm sorry the mini xenon why do i say sendo mini xenon palette such a handy one to have this is such an easy companion palette they're all staying so these are staying these are also staying and I'm getting rid of these two, the gold and the sunset. Okay, I'm going to go into my Viseards. Oh, I found some card pop. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna, before I'm gonna go into my little Viseard, I'm going to show you my color pop palettes. These are four quads. I have a special drawer for all my smaller palettes, so that's why I didn't see them earlier um this is the taurus palette beautiful keeping it it's so easy to take with me on a holiday it's so easy this is the scorpio one i love this i got this because um angelica said it was really good and i agree when it comes to really doing a wine colored look i love to pull this one out so i'm keeping this one and i am keeping this one and now i am debating if i should Get rid of the Nabla blue one. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna get that small Nabla one out of my collection. I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna see if I can get through my um, Viseart palettes without uh, losing the battery. Um, this is the Yipti Pro number three. And I don't know if I'm gonna keep everything. This one is the Petit Four. I think I'm gonna get, uh, I think I'm gonna keep that because it's so small. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this one. I know I'm gonna keep this one because it's small. It's easy to take with me. I'm gonna keep this one. I'm also going to keep this one. This is the Paris Etendu. It's very dark, very stunning. This I'm gonna keep. It's also, even though it's this small and the color story is really dark, it's a complete look for me. So that is something. All right, I'm back. My battery is not fully full, but it's full enough, I hope, for the next... Well, I don't have a lot to go now, but I have a few stuff. Okay, I, I as you can see, I put out my Viseart palettes. Um, just because I want to have a look at them and see what I want to keep. Uh, the thing is... Okay, let me start at the, the very beginning. This one is the... Petit Pro 3, and I think I'm just gonna keep this one because as you can see, it's the color story is nice and dark. It's fun to take on a holiday. It's fine, I'm gonna keep this. But then I have these three. Let me put this aside. I have these three that in my opinion, they are so similar that I don't feel like I have to keep them all. But I'm... Um, like what am i gonna ditch because i have like this this and this shade they are so the same with this one um 
I don't really love this, but I do like this or vice versa. I don't really remember. These two are so similar as well. I'm just, I have zoomed you in a teensy bit. So it's going to look a little bit different than the other part of the footage. But I have so many, these two are so similar as well. These two are really similar. These two are really similar. So what should I do? I'm, I'm thinking that maybe I should just get out all the similar ones. Just and make one palette with all the shades that I like and love and just ditch the rest. Because I seriously don't need them all. But I'm not going to do that right now because I'm already two hours in of footage. So I'm going to do that. Maybe I'm going to film it. Maybe I won't. I don't know. Okay, moving on. Um, this big one or bigger one, it has a bigger... Um, Pants. This is the Etendu, I believe. Yeah, the Violet Etendu palette. I'm going to keep this because I think it's it's a fun color story. Um, it's not perfect, but it's it's nice enough. So I'm going to keep this one. And I think I definitely am also going to keep this one. This is the Theory one. I really, really love it. Where's the little slip? I really love this. So this is staying. Then I have this one. This is the Paris Edit. And this is a palette I thought I was going to love more than I did. But I'm still going to keep it. Because I think this is a beautiful palette also to travel with. All my Viseart palettes always come traveling with me. They are really nice for traveling. So these are the ones I'm going to keep. And this one I'm going to get rid of. Because I... Yeah. The only reason why I got this palette is this blue. And as you have been... Well, you have been watching a lot of this video and you see that I have a lot of colorful eyeshadow and I have this shade. Come on, let's be honest. And I bought a whole palette just because of this. Oh, I'm so glad I'm finally taking a little bit of responsibility for that. I think it would be very easy for someone to get use out of this. So maybe I'm just going to see if someone wants to own it. So this one is definitely going. These three, I am going to see if I can make something of a original color story. I don't know why I bought all three of them, but I did. And these I'm going to keep. So I keep uh, four, six. I keep six. Okay, then I have a few also ends like smaller palettes here. This is a Chanel palette. This is the, I don't even know what it's called. Uh, Candeur, 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 is Seduction. Seduction. I, I, I don't like French. Um, I think it's beautiful. I'm gonna keep it. It's my only Chanel eyeshadow quad. I think it. I'm not going to buy one again soon because I think they're very expensive for what they are. But I think it's nice to have just just this one. So this is staying. Um, I had it somewhere. This is a little Max Factor one. And the reason why I still have this is because I was so surprised by the quality. This is a beautiful little palette. It's just something I won't, I don't reach for this. And you've seen my collection now. You know why I have these shades a million times over. So I'm, I'm going to get rid of it now. But it is a really nice palette and really nice quality. So that is why I kept it. Not a good reason, but that is why I kept it. And this is from the brand by Tammy Tanuka. Is it Sucho Inspired? I think it's called that. And this is something something toad. It's all in Russian. I don't remember. But look at how small these pens are. These, isn't it the cutest thing? It's so cute. And you can make a few looks out of this. So just these six small eyeshadows. I love this little thing. And I also, this is not necessarily a palette. This is... This little um, house or this little, I think it will focus on the house now. Yeah. So I, in these little pots in here, I have all shades. I can't show you. I won't show you, but I have all these beautiful little shades. It's very small. I thought I had an, another one. I thought I had six. It doesn't matter. I have made a few looks with this. It's so much fun to just, you know, pull this out sometimes and be creative. So I'm going to keep these as well. It's just not a palette, but you know what I mean. Why is, what is this? Oh, it's probably the Tote thingy imaging. Let me see, because I have 
some stuff I still have to go through. Oh, right. I have two. Let's get rid of the mess. I have two Charlotte Tilbury palettes. This is the Easy Eye Palette for the Charlotte Darling look. And this is something I think... Uh, this is difficult. Because if I'm truly honest, it's, it's nice, but it's not great, if you know what I mean. But it's so easy to take with me traveling. I think I'm gonna hold on for it for now because I have warm, it's a nice warm color story and I don't have a lot of warm color stories in such a small palette. And this is the Flawless Eye Filter Luxury Palette in Diva Lights, I thought it was called. Oh yeah, it's Diva Lights, wow. There was a lot of information on the back. Yeah, no, I think I'm gonna get rid of this because I don't use this, it's not... You know, in theory, this looks nice, but seriously, it's Charlotte Tilbury, so it's not great, as you can see. I know I don't love these, but still, the two of them make great travel companions. Look, I have the Deuce. This is staying. This is a limited edition, or it's no longer available. It has these beautiful shimmers. That I really love. I love this shade as well. So this is staying. This is the Nubian 3 Coral. This is going. This doesn't inspire me at all. I thought it would. I tried to use it. It didn't inspire me. I think I used only this shade. No. No. This is the Nomad. This is definitely staying. This is such a beautiful color story. And totally me. So this is staying. And then I have the festival by Juvia's Place. Yeah, well, the thing is, same here. This is not a complete palette for me. I love this shade, but I won't, you know, I have this a million times over, as we have seen in this video. Same as this one. This is a beautiful red, but I feel like I have a red, a matte red. And I'm not going to keep this bulky big palette just for this red. So I'm going to get rid of this. Okay, then I have the Tri palette. I'm also keeping this one because, well, look at it. Green, stunning. And I have these fun green Kermit-like lime and a Kermit shade. So that's easy to have. And I have this one as well. So I have everything I need. And this is the Zulu. I'm also going to get rid of this one because I hardly use this. This is also going to go. So I'm getting rid of three. And I am keeping three. And I'm keeping the three I really, really like. Okay, then I have a very big pile of some where I have like one or two palettes from one brand. So I'm going to go over those. This is the Age of Opulence by Beauty Bay. Love this palette. This is definitely staying. And then also the Wilderness palette. Same thing. Love it. It's so stunning. I have a red here. So I, it's fine that I got rid of the other one. And I also have a red over here. I'm doing good with the reds. Staying. Okay, then I have a... I have two Bad palettes. Let me show you. This is for later. Okay, I have the Divine Rose 2 in the limited edition packaging. It's a stunning packaging. I don't love the palette, but I don't mind it. I really like her matte. I would really love for a uh, pet to make just a fully mad like a six pen palette or the five pen palette that she's making right now and just all mattes but she doesn't and i have this one and these are very complementary to each other i like them enough to keep them but i don't think i will buy a pet mcgrath palette anytime soon because they're not special enough for me to warrant keeping them and you would maybe Ask me where the sleeve is from this one. I threw it away because it was broken. I also don't love that. It's a flipping expensive brand, but yeah. Okay. Okay, this is the balm, and this is cute. I liked working with this. I liked using this. Um, I was very surprised by the quality, but this is nothing. This is nothing special for my collection, so I'm going to get rid of it. I might take this out and keep the tin, because the tin is so cute. And I think that is what they want you to do. See, I can keep the tin. So I'm just going to get rid of this part in here. And I'm going to keep the tin, because I think that's fun. Um, 
Then this one, I think this was a gift from Kate. So I don't want to get rid of it because it was a gift. So I'm going to keep it because it's just sentimental value. I just don't, I don't throw away gifts. So I'm keeping this. And then, okay, I'm going to go into Marc Jacobs. This palette is so beautiful. Marc Jacobs, I think the makeup line by Marc Jacobs is discontinued. I don't know for sure, but I think it is. This is the Fantasy, the 7790. And this is just a very beautiful color story. And it's a very beautiful quality. I really like this palette. I have made some very beautiful looks with this one. So I'm keeping it. I also bought it in New York when I was there with my sister. So it has sentimental value as well. But it's also a palette I really do love to reach for once in a blue moon. Okay, this is, this is a difficult one. This is the Bare Minerals Good Tidings. Um, <clears throat> it is very beautiful. It's a Christmas palette. It is very well executed. And as you look at the shades... It is really stunning, but I feel like I have this. I already have this. Look at the Jackie Aina. It's very similar. It's well, not everything, but. Mm. I think this is a difficult decision, but I think I'm going to get rid of it because I never reach for it. I seriously never reach for this. It is very beautiful. Okay, I'm going to put it in the maybe because I don't know. It's not because of the color store I'm going to keep it, but it's just because the quality is so good. And it is quite unique in how it's displayed okay this is the pretty vulgar phoenix rising palette do you remember these i kept this for so long because this color story is so beautiful on my blue eyes oh, but i'm gonna get rid of it now because i have these shades i have them i'm fine it's just it was always such a beautiful palette and i could take it traveling because it's easy i don't i wouldn't mind it if it broke but yeah, it's time. I have to get rid of this. Okay, this is the Vixen palette. This is by VE Cosmetics, I believe. But I don't really see it on the... I think I should have kept the sleeve. But I think it's by VE Cosmetics. And I got this because of um, a video that Nikki Raven did on this, on this little palette. And I think it is really nice. I think it has some beautiful shades in here. And I think it's so cool because of the shade names form a sentence the beauty of the vixen is visible in your eyes we will fight this together this is a palette that is made because um they wanted to um i think raise awareness or at least try to stop the fox hunting in england which is well not good it's going to be in the maybe pile it's I should get rid of it but it's going to be in the maybe pile um this is a Zueva melody palette i'm gonna get rid of this this is i have kept this so long because it always surprises me when I use it but it's not that unique and I really should get rid of it now it's done so it's going this is the tiny marvels palette by Sydney Grace and Mel Thompson this is not going anywhere for obvious reasons it's so much fun it's beautiful Sydney Grace color quality so no this is not going anywhere I'm keeping it then the next one is the Born This Way, The Natural Nudes by Too Faced. And I think this is a surprisingly beautiful palette. And I'm going to hold on to it because of that. But also because I think it's so easy to have lying around. It's a little bit cool tone, but it's also warm enough. So it's a very special, like very unique tone to it. And I really do love it. So I'm going to keep it. I think it's nice to have with other palettes as a companion palette as well. This is the Safari Rain palette by uh, Colored Rain. It's one of the most beautiful palettes they've made. And there's also a Queen something Queen palette. That's also really stunning. I've never got that. But it was, I think, it wasn't really necessarily limited edition. But it is discontinued now. Same as this one. The Colored Rain is also discontinued. It's a beautiful palette. I love the color story. I think it's, it's a very nicely well-balanced palette. This is the NARS... 
Climax palette. Of course, it's a Climax palette. Very beautiful. The quality is really nice as well. I don't have this this long. I think I bought this when I was at my parents. This is a very beautiful palette. I haven't used it that much yet, but I really like it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hold on to it. I should really use that right now because it's a beautiful color story for right now. This is the Totti Beauty palette, the only one she did, the volume one. And I'm gonna keep this because I think it's it's so nice. It's just so nice. Um, I really, really do love this. So I'm gonna keep this. I think it's so easy to have all these, like the mattes, the shimmers, the satins, whatever. The pressed glitters, the glitters are even stunning. I love playing with this. I really have so much fun when I pull this out. So this is also staying. Okay, I think, yeah, I think I'm through everything. Ooh, ooh. They're falling. They're falling. Oh my god, I have this huge pile of pellets I'm not going to keep. I'm gonna count them now. Wow, how am I gonna do this? Okay, I'm just gonna start. One, two. Two, 53 okay I got rid of 53 pellets I think that's one third of my full collection whoa 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 and I have potentially one two eleven twelve okay this is going to be one pellet so I have eleven pellets maybe leaving as well oh my god i got rid of so many palettes and of course you saw me putting a lot of the palettes in the maybe pile i had a i think 11 in total and i decluttered nine of those so in total i think i got rid of 62 palettes that's insane. As I said, as I said, I'm going to do a inventory video as well. So if you want to see how much um, I have still in my collection, how many palettes I still have in my collection, but also how uh, many foundations, powders, the works. Stay tuned, subscribe, um, then you will see my inventory soon. I really hope you liked this video. If you didn't, please give it a thumbs up. And I hope I will see you in my next one. Bye.